Hi everybody, today we're going over the foot bones. Now, our model's a little bit old, it's kind of falling apart, so you're gonna have to bear with me, but it still has all of the structures, and we're gonna start with the structures on the front that we can see. I'm gonna start with those more ankle bones, right? So these are your ankle bones right here. This is the talus and the calcaneus. So see how the talus kind of sits on top of that calcaneus right there? Um, and that's a good way to remember it because it sits on top at any view. So if you're ever tested on this, you know that the talus sits above the calcaneus, all right? Now, you then are gonna have your tarsal bones, okay? So kind of like we had our carpal bones in our wrist, we have our tarsal bones right here, starting with the cuboid, all right? The cuboid, you can kind of see it looks like a cube. It has those four corners. This is known as cuboid, all right? It's gonna be right there next to the calcaneus, right? It's also gonna be more lateral, right? And we know that because we can look and see that this is the digiti minimi. So this is the pinky toe. And over here would be our hallux or big toe. In an anatomical position, our big toe is more medial, right? That being said, we can move on to another bone. This one right below the talus bone is the navicular. If I kind of move the camera, you can see it's kind of shaped like a navy boat, right? This is navicular. Then you get to your cuneiform bones. These three bones are all cuneiform bones. This one is your medial cuneiform, your intermediate cuneiform, and your lateral cuneiform. These are named in regards to your midline of your entire body, which is why this is the medial one, right? Um, and this one's the intermediate one, and this one's the lateral one. That being said, we can now move on to the metatarsals. So this right here is going to be your first metatarsal, which is the first metatarsal is the one on the hallux or the big toe, all right? This is your second metatarsal your third metatarsal, your fourth metatarsal, and your fifth metatarsal. Now we go to phalanges, all right? And just like we saw in the phalanges of our fingers, right? We are missing a phalange on the hallux, okay? Just like we're missing one in the uh, pollux, our thumb, we're missing one in our big toe as well. So we're missing one right here. We don't have a middle phalange on our big toes, okay? We just have a proximal phalange and a distal phalange. However, all of the other digits have all three phalanges. So this would be referred to as the second proximal phalange or the proximal phalange of the second digit, right? This would be the middle phalange and this would be the distal phalange because it's more distal which means it is further away from that center of your body or midpoint of your body. These ones are proximal because they are closer to your body, right? They're closer. And then these ones are still middle right here. And then these would be distal right here. And that is the top of the foot or the dorsal part of the foot. If I flip it over to this more plantar region, right? Bear with me, our, our model's falling apart a little bit. You can see the same bones, right? That would be the calcaneus. This would be your talus. You have your cuboid, which looks a little less than a, like a little less like a cube now, but it's still a cuboid. You have your navicular right here, your navicular, your medial cuneiform. You can barely see your intermediate cuneiform right there, and then your lateral cuneiform. All of your metatarsals are the same. You have your phalanges also, so your distal, middle, and proximal phalanges on these digits, and then your proximal and distal phalange on your hallux.